OK, we are 42 days away from deciding the next president of the United States, but we're already seeing growing tensions between political parties that's spilling out into Metro Detroit neighborhoods. In Dexter, neighbors say they caught someone on camera throwing nails on their property, believed to be because of their political signs. Other neighbors say they have had their signs ripped up and thrown across the street. 7 News reporter Megan Daniels went to Dexter to talk to the victims about how this is affecting them and what they plan on doing next. These families tell me it started with clothing and trash and it escalated into nails and shotgun shells. They say all because they have political signs in their front yard. It was one thing to take signs off and throw them across the street, but this has really escalated. To two inch nails being thrown in front of their homes. We want this to stop. Over half a dozen residents in the Dexter area say they have been harassed by a fellow neighbor for over a month now. So those are empty cannabis pre-rolls. And now has escalated to nails and broken glass being thrown into their yards. You know, I must have about a pound of nails. Four times I had to go down and pick these up as I was leaving so I wouldn't get a nail in my car. One neighbor tells me it makes his children feel so unsafe. They begged him to stop putting signs out. It's felt like an intimidation thing right from the get go. And, and yeah, my, my wife and my daughters would definitely feel the brunt of that. These residents aren't going to let it rattle them, though. They say they won't let the actions of one person stop them from exercising their First Amendment right. We should be able to represent our views without without being able to be threatened or intimidated. I don't want to take them down because I shouldn't have to. Yeah to do that. And while they don't understand what the rationale is behind these attacks, they say they just want it to stop before someone gets hurt. It doesn't change the way I vote. It doesn't change the way I view my neighbors. It's just, again, it's the desire to want to be able to express, you know, your interests and, and your beliefs and, and not to be harassed or intimidated for, for sharing those. Michigan State Police are investigating potential suspects and the families tell me they are planning on pressing charges. In Washtenaw County, Megan Daniels, 7 News, Detroit.